So they're inviting you to the first 2024 City Commission Night Out. That's happening March 19th at Harrison Park Academy. Why should you go? Well, you'll get dinner. There you go. There's a start. That's a good reason. That dinner starts at 5. Then an engagement session and public hearings. This is where you learn about proposed housing policy amendments, and you can provide your feedback to the people making those decisions during the 7 p.m. meeting. As again, doors open at 5. You don't want to miss out on the resources, the updates. Fun activities will be there for you from various city departments. If you can't attend in person, a broadcast will be aired on Comcast Channel 26 and a live stream on Facebook and YouTube. Well, several local organizations working together to provide a second round of healthy harvest kits to the Muskegon community. These free kits have healthy, locally sourced foods and a nutritious recipe to cook at home using those the kit's ingredients. Those living in Muskegon County can pick up the kits on March 21st from noon to 2 p.m. at Hackley Community Care, the Baker site in Muskegon Heights. There are 400 kits available on a first-come, first-served basis. Learn more at agewellservices.org. It is an Olympic year, but this is a different type of Olympiad. This is all about the science, a huge event that allows middle school and high school students from Kent, Ottawa, and Muskegon counties to showcase their STEM capabilities. And it's celebrating a big anniversary this year. Seeing these old no, pictures? I love these old yeah. pictures. The Region 12 Michigan Science Olympiad. It's returning to Grand Valley State University for its 40th year, March 23rd. Students from 22 high school teams, 18 middle school teams are all going to participate in the 23 events at each level. <laughs> yes, look at that. You got the robot tour track, you got optics and air trajectory. Uh, the, those are going to join classic events like flying and vehicle events, lab events. Crime Busters is back this year. It's, it's just, if you're into science, if you're into STEM, this is, this is your Olympics. I'm into the throwback video. No, I mean, yeah, <laughs> look at that. I am here look at those with the throwback video. Great graphics. Oh my God. Look at those right? graphics. <laughs> Oh, it's a throwback oh, to the 90s right there. I love that. All right. Well, I also love this next story. This is has me geeking out a little bit. The St. Patrick's oh, Day jokes. festivities will light up the sky in Coloma this weekend with a mesmerizing drone show. There's a fun light in parade. It starts at 8 p.m. Saturday along Pawpaw Street from Washington to Center Street. The drone show starts immediately after. Um, the show is put on by Starlight Aerial Productions. It features an array of intricately choreographed drones that will paint the night sky with vibrant colors and patterns, all accompanied by synchronized music. The show expected to last about 15 minutes, and of course it is weather dependent, so you're going to want to check the city's social media sites to make sure it's all happening. But how fun is that? Absolutely. Love any drone show you can see. I love when they record them and then they speed them up. Oh, yeah. Like when they speed up the video, it really makes it look cool. But yeah, it's three dimensional. To see it up close and personal. So cool.